us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of Him, who build the valleys and The wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears. To those who trust in His face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty to God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Health, grant, we pray, O Lord, that through her intercession, we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, For three crimes of Israel and for four, I will not revoke my word, because they sell the just man for silver, and the poor man for a pair of sandals. They trample the heads of the weak into the dust of the earth and force the lowly out of the way. Son and father go to the same prostitute, profaning my holy name. Upon garments taken in pledge, they recline beside any altar, and the wine of those who have been fined they drink in the house of their God. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorites before them, who were as tall as the cedars and as strong as the oak trees. I destroyed their fruit above and their roots beneath. It was I who brought you off from the land of Egypt and who led you through the desert for forty years to occupy the land of the Amorites. Beware, I will crush you into the ground as a wagon crushes when laden with sheaves. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong man shall not retain his strength. The warrior shall not save his life, nor the bowman stand his ground. The sweep of foot shall not escape, nor the horseman save his life, and the most stout-hearted of warriors shall flee naked on that day, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? True, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. Remember this, you who never think of God. When you see a thief, you keep pace with him, and with adulterers you throw in your lot. To your mouth you give free rein for evil. You harness your tongue to deceit. Remember this, you who never think of God. You seat speaking against your brother, Against your mother's son, you spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Remember this, you who never think of God. Consider this, you who forget God, lest I rend you and there be no one to rescue you. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Please all stand. Hallelujah. 
If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. In our training no, to the religious life and also the trainings of um, diocese and clergy and also the sisters, no, sa initial formation, no, may program jaan kung saan no a certain amount of time they will no we no as trainees no yung mga under formation ay mag undergo ng mga immersion program or exposure doon sa mga particular apostolate kung saan um pagpa-practicean no o i-expose sila doon sa mga mahihirap na gawain para ma-experience no first hand nung mga magpapari at mga madre yung mga nararanasan mismo ng mga taong pagsisilbihan nila no for example you could be assigned in the fisher folk no mga mangisda no o kaya um, magkakaroon ka ng trabaho clandestinely no sikreto no magtatrabaho ka for example sa mall no bilang kargador no um makakasalumuha mo dun yung mga regular employees no sisigawan ka bubuyawan ka pero you cannot divulge that you are a priest no? or a sister in formation no? may mga pagkakataon din na makikipamuhay ka sa mga informal settlers no at kakain ka ng pagpag, no? Those are the somehow very life-changing experience, no? Doon sa mga willing magpahubog, no? However, no? May isang superior na madre ang nagsabi na this could be a good venue, no? To learn, no? Pero hindi rin natin maideny na sometimes etong mga activity na ito ay tinatawag niyang sausaw patis no nung sausaw patis eh, sige lang no? dahil may nakatingin no go with the flow no dahil may nag evaluate ng formator no magpakabait kasi ang observation niya no once sa na naging fully professed na yung isang religious no? o kaya fully fully ordained na yung pare no? Aba, anong nangyari sa formation? Ni ayaw ng mag-jeep. Mainit daw. Ni ayaw ng maglakad. May taxi naman daw. Nakakalungkot lang minsan, no? Nagwawala kapag walang malamig na tubig. Convenience ang hinahanap, no? And this is all true, no? Sa lahat ng mga naka-experience ng yung mga gustong sumunod kay Kristo. 
Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? No? Ang ating ibanghelyo ngayon ay tumutukoy actually sa dalawang klaseng disipulo ni Jesus. No? Dalawang klase in so far as what really is their intention in following Jesus. No? Here we read, no? a scribe approached him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. No? At anong sagot ni Jesus? Foxes have dens. Ano mga fox? Yung mga parang aso. No? They have their dens. No? Naghukay sila, doon sila sa ilalim na tutulog. Ano? Birds have nests. No? But the Son of Man has nowhere to rest His head. No? Ibig sabihin, no? pag sumunod ka sa akin, walang comfort. Ha? Kasi alam naman natin na ang pa-press release minsan, no? kapag isang pari ka, ano ka? Mayaman. ba? Diba? Bagong kotse palagi. Which is somehow a bit true. Comfort. But Jesus said, no, not even me. I have nowhere to rest my head. So ang intention at times could be grandeur, no? prestige, no? parang ikaw ang leader, no? comfort. No? Jesus is implying us, it is not to be so. No? Pag sumunod ka sa akin. No? Ang isa naman ang sabi, susunod ako sa iyo, pero ilibing ko muna ang tatay ko. No? Anong sabi ni Jesus? Follow me. Let the dead bury their dead. It perhaps goes to show na yung mga past experiences natin, especially with the family, could sometimes be a hindrance para sumunod ng derecho kay Jesus. No? In one of the gospel readings, I think just yesterday, ang sabi ni Jesus pa, no, no one who plows and looks at the back no, will be worthy for the kingdom of God. Walang sino man ang matinong nag-aararo na hindi tumitingin sa harap kundi nasa likod ang karapat dapat sa kaharian ng Diyos. No? Kasi may mga personality rin, no? mga sinasabing tagasunod kay Kristo. No? Aba eh, ang sabi eh, ganito na ako eh. No? Dahil ganito na ako pinalaki ng nanay-tatay ko, no? wala nang nagbabago. Change is actually difficult for them. Conversion is actually not yet possible kahit nag-undergo na yan ng 8 years, 10 years formation. No? Kaya siguro mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, no? for our reflection today, no? we may say that to follow, Jesus could be a no-brainer. No? It's kind of easy. No? Volunteer ka lang. No? Bumuntot ka lang. No? Sumunod ka lang. No? Pwede mong sabihin na follower na ako ni Jesus. No? But to live His life the way He did demands a lot from us. No? And this distinctly separates a fan, no? fan lang ni Jesus and a true collaborator of His mission. Ang tanong, alin ba tayo dito sa dalawa? Fan lang ni Jesus o collaborator ng kanyang mission? I observe sometimes, no, even sa preaching ng mga pare, no, sa preaching ng homily, no, hearers could be just selecting those words that they want to hear. No? Tapos pag tinamaan sila, abay, nagagalit sa amin. No? Pero actually, hindi naman, actually, hindi ko naman kayo kilala in person. No? Pero the thing is, the Word of God is so sharp, like a two-edged sword, that when it pierces you, it struck you. Pero sana pag tinamaan, huwag magalit. Magising. Dahil may pinapagawa si Jesus. 
hindi ito sugar coating. Ano? Ang pagsunod kay Jesus, hindi walk in the park. It demands a lot from us. At kapag natatamaan, magpasalamat dahil ginigising tayo ni Jesus. May gustong ipagawa sa atin si Jesus. Ang tanong, willing ka ba? Ang tanong, baka fan ka lang. Gusto mo lang ng convenience. Gusto mo lang ng exposure na sausaw patis. Pero kapag mga hard line apostolates na ang ipapagawa sa iyo, lalong-lalo na ang baguhin ang sarili mo. Nga nga, ayaw ko. And so perhaps in this Holy Mass, as we remember also the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary in her title, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we ask her help so that we can become a true follower of Jesus. Not only by words, not only by tagging along, no? buntot ng buntot, kundi talaga namang isinasa buhay ang buhay ni Jesus. Amen. Please all stand. We bring our needs before God, our Father, whose Son has gone before us and has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. In every petition, we all say, Father, give us the grace to follow Your Son. Father, give us the grace to follow Your Son. That the leaders of the Church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, the grace, grace to follow your Son, that our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling them to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, us give us the grace to follow your Son, that those of us who have lost hope because of our sins may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries our burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the, the grace, grace to follow your Son, Son, that those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the, the grace to follow your Son, your Son that the dead who follow Jesus may enter God's presence forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, the grace to follow your Son. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Father, in our desire to follow the footsteps of your Son, Make us one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My soul finds rest in God alone, my salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be afraid. I shall never be afraid. Trust in Him at all times. to Him. He is our refuge and He is our hope. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock. My salvation, my fortress, I shall never be afraid, I shall never be Please stand.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Health, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Inanang 